I'm Alexa Fanchette, welcome to my world. And today we are gonna do a video on how to be happy single. And I'm doing this video because I know a lot of people are out here struggling being single. And honestly, I'm really good at being single, almost probably too good. <laughs> um, if you don't like being single, you're probably not doing it right. So <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys some helpful tips on how to be single and happy. First thing I wanna say to you guys is, it is okay to be single. Like you will be fine, you're good. You're great, actually. You just don't even know it yet. <laughs> it's okay to be single. Singleness is wholeness. The first thing we're going to do, you guys, is to deprogram your brain. Singleness is not a death sentence and it is not a punishment. You do not need anybody else to make you happy. You can be happy all by yourself. <laughs> And I'm laughing when I say this because people really like be out here acting like when you're single that it's like the worst thing in life. And it's hilarious to me. Like, girl, you're still single. Girl, you, you haven't found nobody. No, I'm good and I'm happy. I'm, I'm okay over here. <laughs> like, I don't need anybody else to complete me. Society will lie to you and tell you that you need somebody to complete you or you need somebody to be happy. And it's actually kind of ridiculous. It's ridiculous. It's not even fair to put that on somebody else. Somebody else should not be able to make you happy like that. They should be able to make you happy, but they shouldn't be your happiness. Like that your happiness should not revolve on another person. You shouldn't put that pressure on anybody. That is absolutely not fair to them. So you are whole. Singleness is wholeness. You do not need somebody else to complete you. You are already complete. You're already a cupcake. They're just the frosting. They're the extra part. They're the great part. But you are greatness all by yourself. <laughs> Single, not alone. Isolation leads to revelation and you can find the kingdom within you. You need to know yourself. You need to know your worth. No one can fix you. Only you can fix you. I'm going to reprogram you guys. Singleness is a great season. You can live your life on your terms. You can travel where you want, when you want. You can spend your money the way you want. As when you're in a unit, you have to think about the other person. It's no longer about what you want. It's about your family and your goals. And there's nothing wrong with that. But it's just nice that you have the opportunity now just to do what you want to do and live your life the way you want to live it. You're never going to get this time in your life back, so you might as well enjoy it and do all the things that you want to do right now. Singleness is a time for self-discovery, for personal development, and for finding your purpose. This is the time that you become the best version of yourself. You become the best version of yourself for your partner and for your future children. You get to focus on achieving your dreams. You get to focus on advancing your career. You get to focus on making an impact on the world. There is always something more to do. The pursuit of perfection is endless. Take this time to work on yourself. Focus on your relationship with God. Heal any problems that you haven't dealt with. Maybe go to therapy, practice self-love, practice self-care, go to the spa, get your nails done, get your hair done, get your self-esteem up. Focus on becoming the best version of you. Work on you. Find your purpose. Without purpose, the people will perish. And if you don't know what your purpose is, it's time to do some soul searching. Talk to God. Meditate. Try new things, try old things. Your purpose will eventually reveal itself to you. But you have to be open and receptive. Create a full life. I am so busy, I don't notice that I'm single half the time because I'm that focused on my purpose, on my career, on where I wanna be. I am driven and I am focused. And not only that, I created a full life. So create a full life and ways to create a full life. Find your tribe. Find a group of friends that you love, that get you, that are in a similar place in life. And then find some that aren't. Find mentors that can help you through this journey and that'll help guide you along this path. They're amazing. I have mentors in business. I have mentors in my spiritual life. They go and they will take you such a long way. They'll advance you much further than you can get by yourself. Also, have a weekly schedule. 
On Tuesdays, I teach a workout class. On Wednesdays, it's normally game night. On Thursdays, I'm normally at Bible study. On Fridays, I get coffee with my friend Tom pretty much every week. It's like our ritual. I always have something to do and I always live a really, really full life. So make your life full. Make it a life that you love. Create a life you love. And you, I promise you, if you focus on yourself, focus on your career, you'll be so focused you won't notice that you're single. You won't, I promise.